Well, the first thing we need to do is get tuned up with each other, so I'll uh, play my strings and you can tune up with me. All right, now that we're in tune, here's my version of Stormy Weather. So the way we'll go through this is uh, I'll uh, play you and talk, talk you through the uh, A part, which is the 
part that everybody recognizes, and then uh, the B part, which is the bridge. We'll break it up like that. There's also this little intro here that I'm going to do. The song is in the key of A, the way I do it, by the way. I think it was written in A flat, but uh, as guitarists, you already know that certain advantages of playing in A over A flat. So I've transposed it, but uh, this uh, intro starts with a, this version of a C sharp minor 7 chord, which is just really those three notes. And I'm doubling the E note. You might want to watch for that because that's going to be constant throughout the uh, first part of the intro. Just moving these two fingers down here. Here, this is a, an A sharp diminished chord here. Normally played like this, but the melody dictates this note, so I had to refinger it so that these the fingering is a little bit tricky here. I'll make sure that your middle finger hits the uh, second string first fret there. So you got A, A sharp diminished, B minor seventh. And this here, this is a move that um, happens a lot in finger picking. It's a good thing to be able to master, to be able to hit a, a pull, a slide or a pull off or hammer on at the same time as you hit a bass note. In this case, the, the uh, note comes first, and as you slide down to this note, you want your thumb to hit the, the low E bass note when this happens. So it sounds like this. back to a stormy weather. This time I'm going to an F sharp minor here, playing uh, with my thumb wrapped around and getting the uh, low F sharp note. Then I use a kind of a brush stroke because uh, this uh, arrangement is in, in the key of A, some of the, low, the melody notes will go lower than like the top three strings and so um, you're kind of sometimes working the melody and the bass just within the, some, the uh, bottom th two or three strings here and that can be a little bit tricky but uh, um, if some, one of the ways that I deal with that is to, instead of playing an alternating bass all the time, is to play a bass note and then a brush stroke, kind of lightly over, over two or three of the middle strings. And that brings in a kind of a harmonic um, idea that without just the alternating thumb going through. Right there is a bass note that's tricky because it's on the D string, but it's still an index finger of your right hand note. Brush, then to this B minor seventh, and that's what this is. To E. And right here, when you play this E chord, you have to be ready with your index finger to kind of bend it over so that you're still hitting the E chord, but your index finger is bent over now to the B string first fret, to be followed by your pinky so you can get this over. third time I go down is to an F sharp 7th, which is the same uh, with the left hand uh, thumb curved over, but this time I've got my middle finger on the third string third fret, as opposed to just this F sharp minor bar. This makes it a dominant 7th. Um, I also used a little uh, bass step down there from. And then this is the kind of the melodic hook of the song, at least in my opinion, and it goes, it's the part where it goes, keeps raining all the time, and I'm doing it instrumentally by going. And there are double stops in the, in the shape of a B minor seventh or a D major chord, you could look at it that way. But the, the notes are two notes at a time, the uh, uh, A and the D string. And then still the A and the D string only up here. And then you're moving to the D and the G string with these two fingers. And then I do it with one finger, get my index finger so that it hits both the G string and the B string at the first fret, along with a thumb bass note. So you've got here. Now that basically is the whole a part, I call it, not because it's in the key of A, but because it's differentiated from the B part that way.